The family of the nine-year-old that passed away due to his injuries at, at the Astro World Festival tragedy is refusing to take any money for funeral costs from Travis Scott. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news, when we go live, or when we upload. So as you know, since the news broke about the Travis Scott Astral World Festival tragedy, we've been following all the details. And as you know, the last report that we did, there was a $2 billion lawsuit that was representing hundreds of victims that was going against Travis Scott, Drake, Live Nation, Apple, and so many different others. Of course, more more lawsuits are coming Travis's way and a lot more things are being taken away from Travis at this moment, including being featured on the Kardashians new reality show, uh, allegedly. As you also know, we reported the last victim of the Astroworld Festival, a nine-year-old, Ezra Blount, passed away just a couple of weeks ago and the family is speaking out, revealing that they have declined Travis Scott's offer to pay for any funeral cause for the nine-year-old Ezra Blount. So this is according to Uproxx in, in their coverage of the story. So the tragedy that was this year's Astroworld Festival left a number of attendees dead and the youngest, which is a nine-year-old, as I mentioned before, Ezra Blount. Though Travis has been deeply apologetic about, his deadly, about this deadly event and even offered to help cover funeral costs for those who, who lost loved ones at the festival, some families of victims aren't interested in his money. The lawsuit against Travis and fe festival organizers are still coming in, though, including one filed by Tristan Blau, the father of Ezra Blau. Remember, he w attended this event with his son, had his son on his shoulders at the time, and he was knocked unconscious, where Ezra then fell as well. Ezra was laid to rest last week without any help from Travis Scott, though Scott's attorneys said that the rapper's offer to cover expenses wouldn't have no impact on the lawsuit. So a lot of people were wondering if Travis paid for these funeral costs, would they still be able to sue him or Live Nation or anyone else involved? So this is what the family attorney is saying. They said, your client's offer is declined. This is the Blount family attorney, Bob Hillard, said in a response obtained by Rolling Stone. I have no doubt Mr. Scott feels remorse. His journey ahead will be painful. He must face and hopefully see that, that he bears some, some of the responsibility for this tragedy. There may be, and I hope there is, redemption and growth for him on the other side of what this painful process will be. And perhaps one day... Once time allows some healing for the victims and acceptance of responsibility by Mr. Scott and others, Tristan and Mr. Scott might meet as there is also healing in that. As I reported before, Ezra was on his dad's shoulders during the festival until the two were trapped in a crowd surge and Tristan passed out. Ezra was later found in a coma at a nearby hospital but ultimately succumbed to his injuries. And you also may recall Travis Scott has released his own video, his own apology, including apologies from Kylie Jenner, apologies from Kim Kardashian. Travis Scott has also partnered with BetterHelp to provide mental health services to everyone that attended the Astroworld Festival during that night. A lot of people have also been reporting that Travis Scott's music has seen a surge in listening, in a surge in sales and streaming, which, as I said to you before, is so shocking to me, but at the same time, not shocking to me. We're going to continue to follow this story. As I said to you before, there are, there's so much information that continues to come out from this, including lawsuits. I want to know your thoughts on the family's decision not to take any money from Travis Scott and why you think they may have decided to do that. Let's continue the conversation in the comment section. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.